Good morning, children. After learning the concept of simple index number, we move to the next one that is weighted index numbers. Right? Weighted index numbers are of two types that is, weighted average of price relative method, and second is weighted aggregate method. These are two types of weighted index numbers. Now, what are weighted index numbers? Under this, different items of the series are accorded different weightage depending upon their relative importance. Right? Now, we consume variety of goods. Different items are being consumed by the consumers. And all the commodities or the goods, what we consume, these are not of equal importance to us. Some goods are very important and some are less important. For example, wheat we consider as a very important product. Similarly, rice, milk, etc. Right? Whereas, in certain other cases, you can say different other goods like you can say pen, pencil or stationery of any kind or vehicle, these are important for consumers but not as important as the food articles. Right? So, in this way, some commodities are of great importance and some are of less importance. And if we take only the food articles in that only, some goods are more demanded by the people because they are of more importance and some are demanded less depending upon the taste and preferences of the consumer. It is not same with everybody, but depending upon their taste and preferences and depending upon their income level, all these factors are there, they demand different goods. So, accordingly, weights are de uh, decided or accorded to different goods. So, under the weighted index number, we calculate the value of money on the basis of weights assigned, right? On the basis of weights given to the commodities, we judge that whether the price level has increased or index number is having increasing trend or a decreasing trend. Right? So, under this, different items of series are accorded different weights, not same weights, different weights depending upon their relative importance. That means, weights are accorded on the basis of relative importance. Relative means importance in relation to each other. Right? Now, we will take two methods of weighted index numbers. In the case of simple index number, we learn two methods. Similarly, in the case of weighted index number, we have two methods of measuring index number. One is weighted average of price relative method. This is the first one what we are taking. Now, what is this? Under this method, weighted arithmetic mean of price relative is calculated. Weighted arithmetic mean of price relative. Price relative, you know, that means relation of price between the base year and current year. Right? So, weighted arithmetic mean of price relative is taken. Weighted sum of price relative is divided by sum of weights. Right? Weighted sum of price relative. Weighted total of price relative is divided by number of items, right? B uh, sorry, divided by sum of weights. Now, this way the formula is P01, right? P is the price index, 0 is the base year and current year. 1 is current year. So, P01 is equal to sigma RW upon sigma W. Now, P01 is equal to index number of current year in relation to the base year. P denotes index number, 0 denotes, denotes base year, 
and 1 denotes current year. So, price in relation to base year and current year is known as P01. W is the weight and R is the price relative. Sigma RW is here. So, W is the weight and R is the price relative. Now, we will take the example and we will see how the calculation is done. So, we will take the example, construct a weighted index number for 2014 with 2005 as base year. You know what is base year? That is the some past year with which we are going to make the comparison. And what is this past year? This is supposed to be a more or less normal year with not much ups and downs. Right? So, here in this example, we have taken as 2005 as base year. That means, here you have to make the index number for 2014, keeping in mind the prices of base year, that is 2005. And then you have to compare. That means, in comparison to the prices of 2005, whether the prices in 2014 have increased or decreased. This we are going to find out. Now, this is the data given. These are the commodities, wheat, rice, pulse, milk, oil, sugar and salt. These are commodities which we use in our daily life. Now, weight assigned to each commodity here. Now, this is not a particular weight. This is according to the choices of people in general. That means, what majority of people are demanding or what importance they are giving to a particular commodity accordingly we assign the weight. So, in this case wheat has got the weight 15, rice 10, pulses 5, milk 4, oil 6, sugar 7, salt 3. That means according to their importance we have given the weights to different commodities. Suppose these weights are given and these commodities are given and price in 2005 and 2014 are given, can you calculate the index number? Yes, on the basis of this formula. So, here commodity, this is the weight given. Now, let us see what are the prices. In 2005, wheat price was 10 per kg and here price in 14 2014, we are assuming that is 15, right? Similarly, rice 8 and 16, though prices are much higher than this, these are the imaginary prices what we have taken, right? So, it was 10 in 2005, now it is 4, 15, 8 and now 16, 5 and then 10. So, like this, prices of different commodities are given here. Now, let us see how do we do the calculation. This is the solution given here. Commodity and weight and price in 2005, that is the base year price, that is P0, we will take it as P0. Current year price 2014, that will be taken as P1. And then copy down the data as given to you in the question. Right? Now, what you are going to do is, you have to calculate price relative of each item, right? That means, the relative price of each value is calculated with the help of the formula P1 upon P0 into 100. This is the formula for price relative that you have done in the case of simple index number also. So, P1 upon P0 into 100 is the price relative and name this column as R, right? So, price relative P0 upon P1 upon P0, 15 upon 10 into 100 will be 150, 16 upon 8 into 100 will be 200, 10 upon 5 into 100 is 200, 4 upon 2 into 200 into 100 is 200, 6 upon 4 into 100 is 150, 6 upon 3 into 100 is 200, 2 upon 1 into 100 is 200. So, this way 
we calculate the price relative of each item that is the ratio between ratio in percentage of prices of base year and the current year because we are multiplying it by 100 that means ratio of percentage right so ratio in percentage of prices of current year and base year this will be the price relative and name it as r now next step is calculate rw because your formula says weighted index number is equal to sigma rw upon sigma w so you need to have the calculation of rw right and w is the weight this is w column weight and this is r column so you will multiply weight with this column and you get the values here multiply each item 150 into 50 15 is 2250 200 into 10 is 2000 this way multiply each value with the weight column and then get the value this is r into w clear so multiplying r with w we get these values do the total of rw that is 8950 right after adding up all the figures we get 8950 now we have to calculate sigma w the total of this weight column and this is 50 now next step is